Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brainy from Cambrutech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, you are learning Python and this is specifically Essence 207 Programming for Engineers, a course taught at the University of Ghana. So if you have been following along, we have this particular structure we have put together. And this has been put together like the chapters of a book. So currently we are on chapter 20 where we are discussing Python modules. So I'll urge you to at least go through this chapter by chapter but primarily for this particular video you need lessons in functions and classes in order to make sense out of whatever thing we'll be doing over here so basically you need from chapter 17 to 19 in order to follow along in chapter 20. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to collapse this so that we have a much wider slate over here so you have some notes over here and on line one we need to understand what these modules are so a python module is a piece of code or python file actually that is imported and used in another python file so we can have a piece of code for instance in loop.py as we have over here and use that code in here and now we have um, basically two types we have the inbuilt modules and you also have the custom modules so we are going to start with the inbuilt modules and that's pretty much very simple now in order to import a module and let me come to the very top over here now it doesn't really matter um whether i write it down here or up here i mean these are comments so they are not going to really matter but then you would want to have your imports at the very top now sometime back in the course of this series of videos we did something like this for instance name and we use the input method or function over here and i'll say enter your name and let me just print out something like this and i'll say and let me use a formatted string at least we know all of these things so i can say you entered and i'm going to bring out a placeholder over here and i'll pass in the variable name so whichever name i input through the terminal will be saved in the variable name and this will be printed out you entered whichever name i put out over there so let me run this code and here we have entire name and i'm going to say kwame Nkrumah. so i'll press enter and it says you entered kwame Nkrumah. this is looking good now we looked at other examples where let's say we want to kind of hide things a little bit so if this is an atm system you do want to see something like the variable let's say pin and over here it says pin so now the question is going to read enter your pin so let me run this and the pin is one two three four as you can see one two three four is being typed over here in plain text and when i press enter indeed i do get one two three four but the whole point is having it this way is a little bit dangerous because any person just looking over your shoulder can see this now we looked at a way of getting our way around this making sure that this pin or any other sensitive data will be hidden and that's where we use get pass so remember i did something like this i said from get pass i'd wanted to import get pass so now let's do something over here now let's move our mouse around this and you can see that this get pass is a module okay so this is basically a piece of code that is imported okay so the keyword over here is imported into another python file so this is a, a, another python file which is the modules.py as we have over here or 20 python underscore modules.py so we are importing this module over here and in there there's a function so as you can see when i hover my mouse around this there's a function by name get pass and that's exactly what we are using over here so now that i have imported this i can now change this into get pass or i can use get pass over here so because i'm using get pass you see that it gets highlighted and everything is looking good so now when i run this I have the opportunity to enter my pin but then i type in some things over here clearly you could see that nothing is being shown over here but then when i press enter it tells me that i entered one two three four 
now this we already know but then the import of bringing this back is to show you that this or what we did previously where we had this this was a module so it is a piece of python code and this is hidden somewhere you don't have to worry so much about where it is hidden but basically you can see that we have this get pass module that piece of python code and you have this get pass function in there now we did the same example with another one and let me show you when we we're trying to check out the keyword list so for instance you saw me do something like from keyword import and you saw kw list this way so now once again when i hover around this you see that this is a module and let me show you this when i do from for instance keyword you can see that i have this icon over here so this icon like a curly bracket as you can see in vs code shows that this is a module okay and when i hover around this um it doesn't come this way but then let me just get get pass over here you can see that this cube we already know shows that this is a method or a function all right so now you know that this keyword list or kw list we have over here and let me just comment what i have in here I remember I did something like we trying to print the KW list to know all the keywords we have in Python. So now let me open this up a little bit because this is a large list. And now when I run this, we see that there's a list. You can see that it has this square bracket, okay, opening over here and ending over here. And these are all the keyword lists. So you can see that we have, for instance, false, none, true, class we have accept we have else and a lot of other keywords we have seen def and other things over here all right so this is looking good now these are a few examples of the inbuilt modules now the last one i'd want to show you is one from the math model so i can say from math i'd want to import and the number of things inside of this math model so for instance i can import for instance pi so here we have pi over here and you could see that um once again if i try typing it you see that this over here is like something inside of a container so this shows that this is a variable so now when i run this or when i and it tells me that this is a variable and we already know the value of pi approximately 3.14 but then let me just print out this variable pi we have imported over here so now let me okay i've commented everything out if i'm to run this we get pi showing up over here so this is the value of pi 3.14592 and then it continues on and on so these are some inbuilt modules now you could see that when i was typing in pi okay when I, immediately i type in p it was trying to check all the things i have in the math model that starts with the letter p so you can see that i have pi i have power i have prod and things like that now let's check what this prod actually does and let me just import this hover my mouse around this and it says this is a function so it takes in and it says it calculates the product of all elements in the input i trouble so this is looking good now let's try and see how this works so we can for instance use prod this way and for instance pass in any i trouble so any i trouble can be anything so for instance we can pass in a list remember a list is an i trouble so when i do one two three four i'm expecting to see or to get the product of everything i have in here so now when i run this i do get 24 and it's almost like four factorial because three times four is 12 12 times 2 is 24 then 24 times 1 is indeed 24 as we have over here so a lot of these things you don't really have to know them I haven't used this prod function in here ever before but then i can just come in here experiment look at the lookup over here and everything is going to make sense now there's also one thing i want to show now you can see that we are importing prod from math now i can also come and say for instance from math as i have over here import pi and also try and print out the value of pi remember pi is a variable in there okay more or less like a constant so when i run this i do get this as the value of pi but what i have on line three and line four 
I can simply look at it this way. I can, and of course, let me just comment this one. Because I'm importing from the same math, I can simply do comma pi over here, and it's going to work. So I'm saying from math, I want to import prod, and I also want to import pi. So because they are all found, these two are all found inside of math, I can do it this way. And now when I run my code, everything is going to work. All right. So these are just some few examples of the inbuilt modules. And as and when we continue to build our knowledge and our programs, we are going to see a lot of these things come up later on. All right. So this is going to be the end of this video. This is going to be the first part. In the second part, we are going to look at custom modules. But basically, this is not definitely not the end of inbuilt modules. They are quite a number of them and we cannot be able to cover everything over here but then as and when they become necessary um, some introduction is going to be made so if you find this tutorial very interesting and helpful there are a number of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly support my work by subscribing to the Cambro Tech channel also don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at Cambro Tech, we say learn programming you can do it. Bye-bye and catch you in the next video.